and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the Madden market. Now, guys, the specific reason for this video is specifically because that EA did announce on stream yesterday that we are getting our promo Friday morning. Now, the promo that we are getting is still pretty undecided at this point. We really don't know because EA is being cryptic about it. They said we'll be getting a lot of players. Now, initially, we thought they had skipped the Team MVP promo and we were just going to be getting the Combine promo. But upon hearing we'll be getting a ton of players now it has us thinking that maybe we're getting more than that because team mvps are like 64 players it is the definition of a ton of players the amount of players that we can be seeing 64 players that does seem kind of in line with a lot of players but if it's the combine promo it's also going to be a lot of players so it could be either or but either way guys i'm going to give you guys the implications of how both of them can affect the market just so you guys are ready for both now before we get into the video guys Thank you so much for 20k you guys have gone crazy with it you guys really have now i will be introducing another giveaway on this video just one just one for today the other video no but today guys as you guys know for every 80 likes i gotta keep upping you guys are going crazy with it. i did announce the giveaway winners by the way on the other video from yesterday morning 10 30 go check that out see if you guys won but guys today 80 likes every 80 likes we will be every 80 likes we get on this video i will be giving away 10,000 coins so if you guys get another thousand likes like you guys usually do gonna be a lot of coins again but guys thank you so much for that all you gotta do to enter is be subscribed to the channel like the video comment the number of like you are and that's pretty much all you gotta do to enter and you're entered to win now guys get into this video now first things first right so as far as the team mvp promo goes actually before we get into this let's check out the current state of the market so i can show you guys some things now i'm not gonna start from the bottom i really want to keep it all i want to keep it beefy today start from the top let's not go through the irrelevant stuff as much so night train lane guys has come down a little bit now i think that's just because like i said as things start to get cheaper his set will come down a little bit more which in essence just makes it a lot cheaper overall uh lamar jackson's gonna be expensive till his redux card comes out don't even bother he can't be pulled anymore so that card's not gonna go down anytime soon mahomes same thing he's not a redux though which is kind of weird so for, in his case i really don't know what's gonna break make him come down anymore probably just the introduction of new quarterbacks is what i have to imagine i imagine a lot of people are holding on to a ton of patrick mahomes right now and a lot of them are probably not that's the other issue but anyways let's get on down to the uh the bulk of the actual auctionable players so as you can see here team of the year cards are obviously down but let's start let's start with the ultimate legends so ultimate legends are going for a nice 210 for chuck benardrick which is super cheap actually not a bad price Kurt Warner's really cheap. Marcus Allen, Shannon Sharp. All these cards are super cheap. Now, what's going to make them come down? Now, here's the thing. Team MVP and Combine promo are going to affect the market differently. Team MVP promo will affect some of the higher-end cards just because it, it's pretty much going to affect by skill value. So, Combine promo and Team MVP affect differently. Team MVP is going to have the promo effect that affects the whole market. I mean, Combine promo. Team MVP is going to have the the higher overall card effect it just affects cards around the rating so let's say in the team mvp promo we get a wide receiver 97 julio jones he's similar to calvin johnson which he won't be but he's similar to calvin johnson calvin johnson will then come down in value he won't affect anyone else but he will affect the high-end wide receivers let's say we get a brand new left guard it will affect brian water let's say we get a brand new quarterback kurt warner can't be affected anymore so it won't affect him let's say we get brand new running backs marcus allen will probably come down even more now that's just like the high rating effect now the way it's going to pretty much work is that with team mvps we typically get 32 on offense 32 on defense 64 total players so it's going to just and they're usually around 97 overall so it should affect all these players all the high-end cards will be affected only if they're better so if they drop a brand new free safety that's similar to dawkins which i doubt it dawkins will come down or vice versa or not vice versa but it might not bring them down but overall they might collectively come down so let's say right now mahomes is overpriced right as a quarterback he's way too expensive let's say they start dropping new quarterbacks they won't crash, but Mahomes will come down to where he should be like 700k, and then the other quarterbacks will be like 600. They'll come down together. But right now, we only have one of every player right now. We only have like one in each position. That's amazing. So that's gonna affect it as well. And it's gonna be an influx. Now, team MVPs are modern day players, and for some reason, modern day players just don't always compete the same way as these legend players do. They don't give them the same kind of stats. The legend cards are kind of usually more overpowered. So I do anticipate that even with that being said, team MVPs won't entirely kill the market. It, it just won't. I think that it will crash it. But it won't destroy like it'll come crashing down because again like i said all these players are the best at their position by default because they're the only players dropped at 96 97s but if they drop team mvps oh even out more now if there's a combine promo 
Combat Pro is going to be a different animal entirely. Because the combat, Team MVPs, well, well, Team MVPs, if it comes with Team Builders, guys, remember, I'm just referring to Team MVPs. Team Builders will be the lower end theme team cards. So if those do come out too, that will affect the lower end of the market. But people really care more about Team Builders in terms of theme teams. It should bring down training a little bit more. They might have their own currency entirely, which will change the whole thing. But for the most part, Team MVPs and Team Builders are more theme team oriented. Will crash the market, but won't, won't entirely destroy it. It won't. It'll crash, it'll crash down a bit, but it won't destroy it. Combine promo will crash down a ton more. I'll give you guys reasons why. First off, the combine promo will introduce a 99 overall player more than likely. Whoever the combine masters will probably be a 99 overall, which we have not seen with any other promo besides Patrick Mahomes. Or Super Bowl, I should say. So we will get another 99, which should bring down the market because we're going to get new 99s. Will it be a running back? More than likely. Then it'll introduce a bunch of 97, 96s. And the thing about the combine promo, which you have to understand, right? Team MVPs will drop 64 players. But just like last year, only like five of them will be like pretty good and only like two of them will be like meta like you need to get them the combine promo almost every single player has a case to be a starter on your team patrick peterson gonna be the most athletic cornerback right there with deon sanders but more physical starter we'll get a jadavion Clowney right there with lawrence taylor could be a starter we'll get no del beckham jr gonna have like 99 everything gonna could be a starter you might get a McCaffrey, gonna have like really great stats. Could be a starter. Like you guys know what I'm saying? There could be so many good combine cards. And the thing with combine cards, right? You have to understand. The essence of a combine card is someone who stood out at the combine. The combine is a pure, it, it's just, it is a drills of pure athleticism. So if you were a standout of NFL players with pure athleticism, more than likely, you're gonna be crazy good for Madden. You're gonna be everything we want. Good jump, good agility, good speed. So you have to understand that pretty much when a card comes out that's better than all the rest or more athletic and we all want him, the market comes down because we all want that guy. When two of them come out, the market really comes out. When a whole promo comes out centered around cards who are overpowered and super athletic, it's going to bring the market down. So Combine will crash the market pretty bad, in my opinion. Now, the low overall cards too, and depending on sets and things, can bring up some things. If there's a set for Ultimate Legends that you exchange, let's say, it could bring it up, but it's very rare it's going to happen with the Combine promo. Now, the Combine promo, like I said, will introduce a bunch of meta players. I'm telling you guys, almost every player that gets dropped in the Combine promo is a god. Byron Jones always super good just take my word for it guys i recommend if you guys want to i'd recommend before the combine promo drops that is announced i'd recommend selling a few things because things will come down now remember we're in the year of madden where people people are pre-selling already for a promo so it's not as effective as it used to be back in like madden 17 and 16 when you could be like oh the night before the promo sell everything and the next morning everything just crashes team of the year too team of the year is gonna come down a lot because they're still holding value because they're still not completely competed with yet by the ultimate legends but trust me they will be soon the only ultimate legends are the team of the years i really recommend you still could pick up aaron donald is a god hands down a god i still recommend you pick him up no debate on that one and as far as everything else i mean it really comes down to your personal opinion on what you feel your team needs but obviously everyone has value in this game it all depends on your team but for me i want a lot of combine players i always spend my coins before the combine and i always regret that i'm gonna save my coins up i'm using the combine because the combine are a bunch of end game cards At the end of the day how do we view end game cards 99 speed or insanely high speed with good stats well, that could be chemmed up that's all you need and with sprint and everything trust me guys combine cards are going to be a lot of end game cards so i want to use that for them save it for that and maybe even take one of my power passes off at two tall jones for a combine player now the master guys if you want to know probably chris johnson will probably only affect the running back market which will rebound as soon as the ultimate legends come out because they will probably get a barry sanders maybe a bo jackson maybe an eric dickerson and hopefully it'll Damian Tomlinson. I'm still waiting on him. We have not gotten him yet this year. Kind of sucks. I was so excited for uh, Armbar Damian Tomlinson this year. We never got it. But guys, that pretty much wraps up most of what I want to talk about. So to wrap it up, team MVPs going to affect cards at their position. High overall cards at their position. Combine promo going to affect everything. Because combine promo overall, everyone's gonna just everyone's gonna be focused on those cards. And the other thing, team MVP drops cards in segments like it did last year. And longer segments because it's 64. And it's a lot of like, you might get like a Devante Adams, kind of slow, no one cares. You might get like a Julio Jones, you're like, eh, he's good, but he's kind of slow too. So a lot of cards you're gonna be like, eh, we need to rush for him. Combine's gonna be like, whoa, Patrick Peterson, and everyone, that's like, that's the hype effect. Like, oh my God, Patrick Peterson, need him now. Everyone starts selling. I'm gonna sell my Kurt Warner. I'm selling my Long. I'm selling my Chuck. I'm selling my Shannon Sharp. Everyone starts selling their cards rapidly to build up coins real fast to go buy the Patrick Peterson. Everyone overspends, so they spend a lot of coins on him. They sell a lot of cards for cheap. I'm telling you guys, I've been around this enough to know that's gonna, that's probably what's going to happen. So just be ready for it. Combine will crash the market a lot. MVP will only partially crash it depending on the day, depending on the drop, depending on the cards. 
So guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, guys, make sure to go on down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to like this video. Remember, we are doing the like giveaway on this video. Every 80 likes we get will be another 10K given away. So all you got to do is go down below, like the video, be subscribed to the channel because I want to get back to subs only, and make sure to give a uh, comment down below the number of likes that you are, guys. That pretty much is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.